it's been a long time since I've done this. I think my last vlog was maybe, it was right as my season was coming to an end. It was October last year. And, you know, I thought I'd be doing them a lot more frequently, but I also thought I'd be keeping you guys in the loop via uh, training forms and whatnot uh, a lot more regularly. But, you know, the truth is that, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I can get so busy and backed up that it's hard to keep up with everything. And, you know, when I do have free time, the last thing I want to do is sit on, by a computer and, and, and you know, and uh, write my sets and reps. So, the real cool thing is that now, you know, we have uh, the whole YouTube revolution. And I think that's really cool because it's, one, it's a very convenient way of just recording stuff, putting it out there. And lastly, it's, it's also... You know, it, it has a different dynamic that forms just don't have and that um, you can really get to know the person uh, behind the sets and the reps and uh, it's it's much more colorful, meaning, um, you know, there's, there's more to this for those of you guys who, um, who, who, you know, essentially do the whole uh, bodybuilding thing competitively or, or not as a competitor. Uh, there's so much more of the sets and reps in your nutrition for the day and progress picks um, and this is essentially Why I want to do this. I want to do this because Firstly when I was growing up Back in my day the only access I had to natural to pro natural bodybuilders and I guess the reason that uh, um, uh, You know mm, that it was cool to keep up with these guys is because you know hey these guys made it they they did it they they've uh, over the years they've uh, they've built this impressive physique without the use of um, uh, white lightning and um, and I want to know more about this I want to I want to see what's possible and you know it, it it would it was something that really intrigued me but the thing is that I think all I had back in the day was. Uh, it was a natural bodybuilding fitness magazine that would come out quarterly. So, yeah, I'd have to go to, I think it was Barnes and Nobles and, you know, drive there. Is it there yet? No, it wasn't there yet half the time. You know, it'd take a little longer to finally reach the, the stands. But, but, uh, but yeah, that's all we had. And nowadays, it's, it's real cool in the fact that pro natural bodybuilders, are, they're, they're usually quite accessible to, um, to, to everyone else and, and specifically the ones who I think it's most important, the, the younger guys. Um, so I guess this is going to be a way for me to not only log my progress because I enjoy that. I was going through one of my old training journals. It, th those date back to 2007 and it was, it's pretty cool to revisit that. It, it's, it's nice to document memories and be able to look back on those. You know, when you're making memories, sometimes you're so busy having a great time, you, you know, it's, it's, uh, you, you forget to capture the moment somehow. So, me personally, that's what I like, and, you know, it, it's always a reminder of how far I have come, uh, you know, to go back and see progress. And then also, I think it's going to be a real cool way for uh, uh, a lot of the younger guys to see that, man, it's hard, and we all go through our ups and downs and I think there's almost a big misconception out there uh, about myself that you know it's all all roses and that you know I have no issues with this and I'm always happy go lucky and smiling and things just happen not so much so I want to videotape the good the bad uh, a little bit of everything and start doing it well today and through my contest season 2014 and basically my situation is I'm a very good natural bodybuilder I would say I am I have good genetics but the guys at the top they are just they're freaks uh, won't mention any names Philip Ricardo Doug Miller Kiyoshi Moody all those dudes they're, they're just, they're freaks in nature. 
And, um, you know, in order for me to, you know, hang with those dudes, I have to do everything right. Um, I'm at a serious disadvantage. So I really have to, you know, uh, I can't cut corners, essentially. So it would be a cool way to document, um, I wouldn't say an underdog, but certainly someone who is really, really going to have to work for it and really try to do everything right in order to succeed. So um, that's my spiel. Uh, you should be getting more of these from this point on. And I think a good way to kick it off is um, for you, those of you who don't know, I just moved to Sacramento and I have a new kick-ass gym. So I'm going to take you guys on a tour of my first real gym. So I've always uh, worked out of uh, uh, commercial gyms. So it's real cool to finally uh, have a place like this. So that's, uh, that's my spiel. And um, prepare to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. And not just my face.